Hey guys, um, I just recently got in for my appointment today for at the Pain and Wellness and I wanted to do the Scentbird uh, test that uh, I've been promising you guys for like a couple weeks. So I got two and um, a nebulizer cover I want to call it, I don't know. But when you normally get them without the cover... It comes in a paper tube like this. I'm gonna see if I can get it to focus. It says scent bird. It looks backwards to me, which I hope means you guys can read it. Wait, the camera's more on this side, so I'm hoping I can get it to focus for a second. Hopefully. <laughs> but when you open them, There's like these little test tube jobbies, which I think is nerdy as fuck, so I kind of like it. Um, this one is called, uh, it's from the brand, I believe, Your Majesty, or, hold on, because they come with cards, and we are going to go over those cards. So I believe the brand is called, yeah, Deck of Scarlet. And the specific scent is called Your Majesty. I think that's going to be clear, I hope. I hope. Um, so... This is what the front of the card looks like. Shows you what the, if you were to get a full size bottle, what that looks like. Uh, and it just says, uh, well, it has the Scentbird logo. And it says your fragrance this month is. Well, technically, I get two. Because I'm trying the one I normally get that I. I should have gotten bottles of the shit when it was around. But I didn't have the money to get, like, full bottles. But the Burme, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's out for now. At least for now. So, I'm trying to find something else that would be, you know, replacing it that isn't a limited time thing. But on the back, it says, With your head held high and your crown held higher, you're ready to ascend the throne carrying a regal presence that walks the line between graceful and downright formidable. Lush gardenia, jasmine, and water lily create the regal lavish heart of this scent, while dewy greens, delicate peach, and wild berries form the sparkling top notes. Mirroring your confident elegance, amber, musk, and sandalwood assert strength, telling, not asking, those in your scent trail that you're in control. Uh, and it actually breaks down the ingredients. Uh, alcohol denatural. I think it's it's shortened, so I think it's denaturalized. I think that's the right word. All it says is D E N A T. So is it denaturalized? Dena I want to ask Grandpa, but I won't yet. Um, but that's the first, so of course I'm going to have to wait a second before I can actually get the scent of this thing once I spray it. Uh, fragrance, water, ethylexyl, methocinamate, butyl, metho... Some things that I can't <laughs> pronounce. I could try. Uh, you know what? I'm going to try. We'll all have a laugh. All right. Butyl metho... Methoxy... Methoxy dibenzylomethane and ethylexylate salicylate. I think that's the best I can do. 
it's not many ingredients. I made it sound like more than it is. It's, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six ingredients. Um, and it also lists at least the primary scent profiles that you'll get from this, which is gardenia, jasmine, water lily, amber, and sandalwood. There's also a QR code. I don't know if you guys will actually be able to scan it or not. If I can, like, hold it. I don't know, guys. I'm trying my best. But that just shows you. Uh, Rebottled Your Majesty uh, by Sunbird. An independent bottler from a genuine... Product wholly independent of Deck of Scarlet. Uh, Scentbird himself uh, actually is in Monroe Township in New Jersey, which is actually kind of local to me. I want to say it's probably like an hour and a half drive. Hour 45, something like that. And it even has uh, Deck of Scarlet's website, which is deckofscarlet.com. Uh, this brand is made in the USA. Yeah, so the original source is also U.S. based. Hold on. So we're going to try this first. I'm going to try this one on the left because it sounds like something I might like. And I'm left handed. I don't know why I'm shaking it up. Maybe I just want to do this in front of you guys. <laughs> I don't know. Fuck me. <laughs> It's subtle. I'm picking up more of the, the floral than anything. I gotta spray this on the back of my hand. I realized that uh, the results there are a little tainted. Because um, I showered this early, early this morning, and I leave my watch on while I shower, but um, I use a shower gel from Bath and Body, um, and that's rose and vanilla. Yeah, this is very faint, but. Um, It is nice, but it's not, it's not me, um, which is a shame. So if you like floral scents, cause this isn't very woody, this is, it's floral, but it's not grandma floral. Um, it's not Avon. It's not. It's definitely not something your your mammy would wear. Um, so it's definitely like everyday sort of stuff. Like you just want to, it's, it's not fitting the descriptor that's on the card. Not to me. And that's disappointing. Like I was expecting it to be a bit more forward with like the sandalwood or whatever. Um. Which is what I was looking for. Um, I like I like some floral, but I like that warm, woody presenting first and foremost. That's why I liked the Burme, which was um, vanilla and sandalwood. And it reminded me of when you're like walking into a Wicca store <laughs> and um, you're heading like towards the incense section. That's, that's what specifically came to mind with that. And oh, I am so, so damn bummed.
that 